Step one, sketch the graph. So we're still in the chapter of shell method, but kind of you're not supposed to be taught what to do. Uh, so you're supposed to guess uh, by yourself or decide by yourself which method to use. Step one, you need to make 2D picture and then decide to move on to 3D picture or not. 2D picture, y equals 9 minus x squared. Because of the negative, it's concave down parabola. And it is shifted, so the center shifted up by 9 units. In the center, it's the axis uh, for parabola. We're going to have it like so. But then x says, I don't want x to be negative. So we don't need the left side. We're going to have only this half on the right side in the first quadrant. Then line x equals 0. That is a vertical line for y-axis. Let me sign, by the way, y equals 9x squared. And then y equals 0. That's the floor. And this is your area. Now we see it looking very nice. Like so. Now we are rotating about x equals 3. x equals 3 is either over here or over here or over here. You need to figure out where is it. But if you plug 3 into 9 minus x squared, it gives you 0. So that's how I know it's actually exactly at the edge. x equals 3 is going to be my axis of rotation. x equals 3 spinning around this. y equals 9 minus x squared. Now you have to choose, I do recommend not to do 3D graph or shell method, but we don't know which method to use first. Because it's x equals 3, it's parallel to y-axis. So for, maybe let's write down, it is parallel to y-axis. When it's parallel to y-axis, we do dy case for the 7.2 chapter which is disk and washer. Let me just call it washer. But then we do dx case, the other one, the flipped one, for the shell. So let's choose first which one is more convenient from this point of view. So if I'm doing it, yeah, you choose. I don't know. What do you think? Which method is better, dy or dx, based on how functions look? If it's dy case, it's going to be right minus left. If it's dx, case top minus bottom can you justify the top minus bottom just because I made more examples on top minus bottom doesn't make it better <laughs> but like what kind of justification do you have why we want to do dx yes anyone I mean you know just guess why do we feel dx is better yes What do we need to know if we build an integral for dy? It will be dy, from c, integral from c to d, pi r squared minus pi r squared, pi r squared minus pi r squared dy. What kind of functions are inside? x equals, x equals. Do we have x equals? No, we could find it, to be honest. It will be just plus and minus square root, but do you want to deal with plus minus square root? So the, it means it will work. On the quiz this week, I will give you the example when you can use both, and then you will see which one is easier. You could do that. It's just harder. So not to solve for x. I will just choose the x case then. But the x case pin can be used for shell method. So we choose shell method. Does that make sense? That's why there was a note here. I already mentioned last time and last, last time. Use this shell method when independent variable is different from the axis of rotation. It's exactly what we have. Rotating about y-axis, but I don't want to solve for x. So I will use shell method for that. It was created kind of to make your life easier, specifically for these cases. If I choose shell method, don't draw the 3D picture. It makes mistakes. It's not like I'm forbidding you to do it. Um, just don't do it. Uh, you can do it if you don't make mistake later. I, do can, I can show you how it looks later after we start building the integral. So let's see if we now know the integral. Step three, choose the method. It is shell. And it's also dx. So again, ask me right now, how do I know it's shell? And how do I know dx? Did you understand? Shell was chosen for some reasoning behind it. But why it's dx? Did you miss it? Did you blink and now you don't know? dx because? The axis of rotation is parallel to the y axis. 
parallel to the y-axis, exactly. And for shell, it's the other way around, parallel to y-axis. Thank you. Good job. See? Nice. Step four, now we know the formula the moment you chose the method, we know the formula. It's not pi r squared minus pi r squared. It is 2 pi r h. 2 pi, you can kick it out outside. Since it's dx case, it's from a to b. r h dx. r and h depend on x, both are functions. This is the formula. Knowing this formula is crucial, Oh, because you can't even start if you don't know the formula. That makes sense. So that's why there's so many steps in these problems. And now we can start building them. Why well, did not recommend to build to build a 3D picture for A and B? When you build a 3D picture, which will look like so, many students say that from A to B will be from zero to this point, which is not true. For shell method, we're using 2D picture for A and B. So I would first create the integral and then fine, you can draw the 3D picture if you want. 2 pi A is 0, B is 3. 0, 3. And now you have R of x, H of x, dx. Now you can proceed. Now you can draw the 3D picture because you're already not going to mess up A and B. The 3D picture says, let me move this way. The 3D picture will be copied using the axis of rotation, which is x equals 3 as a mirror. Maybe add a couple of circles to trick your brain that it is indeed a 3D object, like so. Now, this is the interesting case with a shift. Let's see how it's going to work. Before, in the previous examples, radius was exactly matching with the x or y. So this used to be x. Not anymore. The thing is, it used to be x when axis of rotation was y-axis over here. And I justified... Where is the example? Oh. And I justified it... Uh, and I justified this idea like so. Here's a 3D object. We were rotating about, about y-axis. That's the previous example. Look at the center, and now the radius, how big the radius will be. Exactly where you put your x. If you put your x over here, let me put it like so. If you put your x in the middle, this is the radius. This is going to be the shell, you see? This is going to be this, this little inside piece of the onion. Then, if you put your x here, this is going to be the radius. This is going to be the shell. Because we're folding versus slicing, and you see we're folding with the standing pieces, while if we would slice with discs, they will be lying down horizontal. We are unfolding with vertical pieces. x matched with r. However, let me delete this. However, for this case, axis of rotation is shifted, see? Axis of rotation is on the right. Here it is. So, where is my x? Or where is my radius? If I put a dot here, then my radius will be... What, how big the shell is going to be? This big. So now I need to figure out the equation for the radius. The radius, look at the center. Here's the center. How to describe the distance between here to here if this first point is x? x minus 3 or 3 minus x? That also kind of comes into the picture which one is correct. You always go the bigger minus smaller. Who is on the right? x or 3? Three? 3. So 3 minus x. If the axis is here, you're correct. Then it's going to be minus 3. Then it's going to be x minus minus 3. So you go from bigger to smaller. Because that's the distance formula. The distance formula says if you were walking from your dorm to this classroom, what is the distance? Classroom minus the dorm. So you always go the second minus first. Bigger minus smaller. So I will write a solution, the answer for my own question. And then you tell me if you understand it. 2 pi from 0 to 3 
r is 3 minus x. That is my r. Radius is 3 minus x. Stare at it and tell me if you get it. It still matches with x, but it's shifted by 3 units. Shifted by 3 units because axis of rotation is shifted. How to know to the right or to the left? Take the one on the right minus your x. Or just see that the shift was done by 3 units to the right. If you want to see it this way. Also, if you plug x equals 3, if I choose this radius, what radius over here? 0. So it matches. x minus 3, if I plug, if I ask what's the radius of this onion at the center 3, it is 0 because 3 minus 3 is 0. Indeed, the radius of the very inner part unfolded onion is 0. There is nothing in the middle anymore. We already unfolded everything. Then the farther you go away from 3, the bigger the radius becomes. So when I plug 0, it will be 3 minus 0, which is 3. Make sense? So if I want to ask what is the radius here at 0, this is the biggest radius. The biggest radius is 3, because 3 minus 0 is 3. So it should match. If you mess up and do x minus 3, and you plug 0, it gives you the radius is minus 3. And that's how you know it doesn't make sense. Radius should not be negative. So 3 minus x. This is the hard part. But the moment you get it, actually, it becomes the same for everything else. Finally, h. h is, since we chose dx case, h will be top minus the bottom, top minus the bottom. If you choose dy case, it is right minus left, top minus the bottom. Let's see. So check what, is, what function is at the top. For height, what function did the bottom? Let me choose another color. I'm going to any place and then shooting up. Which, what function is at the top all the time? 9 minus x squared. And the one at the bottom? 0. 9 minus x squared minus 0. Nice. That is h, height. This is literally height, just reminding you. Height. Well, the other one is radius. That's common sense. R is radius. I don't want to name it radius. We know it. 2 pi from 0 to 3. 3 minus x. 9 minus x squared. Dx. This is the integral for the case with the shift. Shell method case with the shift. What do you think about that? Can you do it by yourself? That's, it just takes practice and time to stare at the picture. The longer you stare, the, get it, the better it gets, kind of. When the more you, you're staring at this, and at some point you see, okay, the radius of the 3D object. Take the center, ask what the radius is. Can I build the equation for the radius? 3 minus x. Center minus unknown. Because from my x, radius is growing or decaying. Height is top minus the bottom. Because it's area between graphs. Height is area between graphs. How to integrate this? Yes, let's distribute and then integrate. From 0 to 3, you guys call it FOIL. Nobody else outside of America called FOIL. Because there's no need to remember the order, actually. You just distribute with any order. Just don't forget any term. That's why I don't call it for it. Three times, you do your own way. I do my own way. It's always random somehow. Minus 9x plus x squared minus 3x squared dx integrate each part 27x minus 9x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 3 minus 3x cubed over 3 gives you because I am a genius I did it in my head 135 pi over 2 positive now I have it in my notes just letting you know Positive units cube. Keep it with pi. Don't use pi equals 3.5 or 4 or 3 or even worse, 5. Pi is pi. Let, let it be pi. Yes. Ah. Uh, 3 times 9. Let's see. Then minus x cube. Oh, this one. Yes. Plus x cube. Thank you. 
minus 3x squared. Oh, thank you. Actually, the 4 over 4. I did it on purpose to make sure you're paying attention. 